Hi everyone, it's T. So for the past couple of months, I have been kind of accruing things. Um, I've kind of gotten tired of my old wardrobe uh, and I've been just trying to buy pieces that feel a lot more me, I guess. Kind of embody that aesthetic that I've always wanted to have. And now that I can kind of afford to do it, like, why not? So everything is basically um, J Fashion or J Fashion inspired. I have some main pieces, accessories, things from Taobao and also things from Japanese brands. So first let's start with casual pieces. So the sweater that I'm wearing right now, uh, I got in probably April. It's a swimmer cardigan. It's very warm actually. It's very thin, but very warm just because of the material. It has this cool embroidery of like a moon and this bow and star buttons. And I find it really useful for like casual wear. Another thing that I'm wearing currently is this lavender skirt from WC. It's just a regular tennis skirt and it actually kind of fits me really tightly. It said free size, so I kind of expected it to be small, but I think it's fine. It fits me comfortably. It's just a little tighter than I am used to when it comes to tennis skirts. I usually buy them a size up so that they'll fit a little bit longer, but this is actually like a good length skirt, I think. A little cheeky, very flattering. The next thing that I bought was this crop top from Milklim. It was super cheap and I'm not usually one for like crop tops and stuff like that, but I actually could see myself wearing this. I wanted to have a more comfortable, more casual, very K-esque kind of style, especially when I'm just relaxing at home. So that's kind of why I picked this up. Very simple, has a unicorn on it, pink. What's not to like? It matches with most of my wardrobe too. So the next thing that I have is from Nile Perch. It's this sweater. In the same vein of like wanting casual J fashion, I thought that a sweater would really do well for me. I could wear it with detachable collars and the tennis skirts that I have and create like new outfits. The screen print, I guess you could say, on the front is kind of wrinkly, but that's because it was secondhand. Everything is secondhand, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned this. Everything Japanese I bought from one of the auction sites, Merikari, um, Yahoo Auctions, that kind of thing. Yes, it's a little worn in, but I kind of wanted that in my clothes, something that feels like comfortable and worn, something that I can make mine, kind of. So next we'll move on to accessories. Unless otherwise stated, I got all of these from Taobao. The first thing that I got are these socks. They're like a tights material. They have a different pattern on each, on each sock which is really nice. I wanted something that was kind of, that I could use with like Fairy K and, and with my Angelic Pretty clothes and stuff like that. I didn't expect the blue to be so blue. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a warmer color from the stock photos, but I think it's okay. I think I can make some outfits out of it. It's just not a color that I'm comfortable with, but I think I can make it work. Also, I'll try to link the store that I got this stuff from down below. Another pair of blue socks that I didn't expect to be so blue. I guess that just means I have to add more blue to my wardrobe or something like that. I really just liked these because they have candies on them and they really matched with a skirt that I bought from Angelic Pretty that I'll show you later. Just a simple pair of socks with stripes and hearts and candies. So the last pair of socks that I got was this pair of red socks. They have bows on them, they have words on them, and I think it says, I'd love present for you. So I don't know, but <laughs> they're super cute. I don't have any socks that match with Holy Night Story. Yeah, I mostly just bought it for that. I do have a lot of red in my wardrobe and I'd like to use it more in the future. So that's also why I bought these. So I'll show like a montage of the general accessories that I got from different Taobao stores. But I did want to show this guy. He is so cute. I'm just so happy with him. He's so just weird looking. I don't know. I just, I just love this bear so much. I want more bears in my wardrobe, if that makes sense. I, I'm slowly starting to accrue just bear themed things. J fashion or not, I don't know why, <laughs> but yes, just beautiful, adorable. I love, I love. He could be like a pin or a hair accessory. I could put him like here if I wanted to. And then the rest of the accessories that I got are just things that will match with the colors in my wardrobe. I 
have been wanting to use more accessories lately, and that was my point in buying all these. So on to the main pieces that I got from Japanese auction. All of these are angelic pretty. I'll start with this skirt. It is Dreamy Dollhouse in lavender. This was probably one of my first like dream pieces. I've always wanted the skirt. I've always wanted it in lavender. It's so old. I think it's like 14 years old, 13 years old, something like that. But it was really worth it. There's still glitter in the print, like incredible. It did have some damage, of course, as a 14 year old skirt that's probably been handed down through several people, but it's not really noticeable. And I think it adds like character, you know? So this skirt was kind of the reason why I bought the other things that I did, just because I don't really have anything in my wardrobe that can match with it. Um, it's pretty out there and I'm not really like a skirt person, but I think that's okay. It's made me try and think outside of the box when it comes to like how I coordinate my outfits and stuff like that. So next we have this angelic pretty cut sew. Um, I think it's a cut sew. It's basically this zip up hoodie kind of deal. I really wanted it for casual wear. I have a lot of lavender in my wardrobe. Lavender is my favorite color, if you couldn't tell. And I saw this one for auction. I It just kept calling to me. I ignored it several times and it was just there. I really appreciate the details in this, the chiffon bows on the pockets and the chiffon ruffles on the sleeves, the lace alongside the zipper. The zipper is able to open from the bottom. There's like gold at the end of the drawstrings and there's chiffon in the hood. Like it's just, it's honestly a great piece. I feel like I made a really good decision after I got it here because it's just so necessary, I guess, for what I wanna do with my wardrobe and stuff like that. So yeah. So lastly, the thing that I'm most excited about is Angelic Pretty's Fantastic Dolly in white. It is the one piece, it is incredible. I didn't know until I unboxed the package, but it's the original release. The seller didn't disclose whether or not it was. It had some slight flaws, but nothing that I haven't seen before. And honestly, like this was a major tier dream dress ever since it came out in 2000, 2010, I think. This is one of my top five, especially the white OP. I'm just like flabbergasted that I was able to even find this. There's no shearing, of course, but it fits me just fine. I can't lift my arms though, because I have broad shoulders. <laughs> just all the polka dots, the retro vibes, the black lace at the end. I'm just so in love with this. Every time I see it, I smile. Like it's the most wonderful thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for my collective J Fashion Haul. Um, in the comments below, if you wanna tell me like, the things that you bought during quarantine or which piece was your favorite um just let me know uh like if you want subscribe if you feel like it uh and i'll catch you next time thanks <laughs>